Hello friends, today I am here to tell you how to generate SSH key on Windows 10. Let's continue the video. To explain about SSH, it simply stands for secure cell and used to establish a secure connection between two computers. SSH work by authenticating based on a key pair with a private key being on a remote server and the corresponding public key on a local machine when the key match access is granted to the remote user this video will guide you about how to generate ssh key with the help of open ssh or put it in some of the requirements are a system running windows 10 a user account with administrative privileges Mm, access to the command prompt a web browser optional to uh, download putty to install open ssh we need to go to settings and we can search apps apps and features and then we can see optional features and then we need to go open SSH client I have already installed I have already installed guys you need to install it in your computer and then go to command and then please follow the steps that I am doing now here by default the system will save the key to C drive users your username SSID RSA you can use the default name or you can use uh, you can choose other name you'll just ask to enter passphrase just skip that the system will generate the peer and display and display the key fingerprint and a random mart image you should see two files the, identif the identification is saved in idrsa file and the public key is labeled idrsa.pub this is your ssh key peer Public key is identified with .pub extension. Next. Now next step is to. Now next step is to generate SSH key from Putty. First of all, we have to install Putty from the given link I'll give you the link uh, in description we need to install this 64 bit install it according to your system install it Okay, it is completed. Now we have to search and select as done as administrator and uh, we can simply select generate. We have to randomly move our mouse to the white space here. It generate kind of pass key which is, which is kind of cool feature.
personally but i do not suggest you to do that mm. and i'll simply select save private key okay it will ask the mm, folder i'll simply make new folder okay saved and this is how you can generate your ssh key thank you for watching the video thank you for watching the video